Schematic diagrams with graphical symbols are used to show the electrical connections and functions of a specific circuit. This line, or ladder diagram, shows various electrical components interconnected by lines. These lines are arranged like rungs on a ladder. In determining the operation of an electronic circuit, it's important to consider whether a switch functions manually or automatically. Manually controlled components require physical manipulation to work. Automated components turn on and off without manual intervention. A typical example is a float switch found in a sump pump. When a rising water reaches a certain level, a float switch is activated that turns on a pump to expel the water from a tank. Another important aspect of any circuit is to determine the coordinated manner in which control devices, such as push buttons and switches, function to operate a circuit. This is known as control logic. Combinations of switches and buttons can be configured to conform to the rules of basic logic functions. Let's look at several examples by exploring the functional relationships of various switches in this diagram. The first control logic we will look at is AND logic. AND logic is present when there are normally open control devices connected in series. Here we have two automatic switches. The motor coil, M2, will only be energized if both floating switch 1 and temperature switch 1 are closed. Next, let's consider OR logic. This can occur when there are two normally open control functions connected in a parallel arrangement, represented here by two start push buttons. Thus, motor coil M1 can be energized by manually pressing start switch 1 or start switch 2. With M1 energized, another type of control logic is exhibited, called memory logic. The energized M1 coil will cause the auxiliary contact M1 to automatically close. Therefore, even after the start button contacts are opened, the starter coil will continue to be energized due to the closed position of M1. There is also control logic associated with normally closed switches. Not logic occurs when there is a single normally closed switch in a circuit. Thus, when the normally closed switch, stop 1, operated by a manual push button, is pressed, the M1 coil is shut off, and the M1 holding contact is deactivated. NOR logic, an extension of NOT logic, operates by the inclusion of a second normally closed push button in series. In this arrangement, pushing stop button 1 or stop button 2, the M1 coil is shut off, and the M1 holding contact is deactivated. A selector switch is a device with an operator that is manually rotated to activate electrical contacts. They are normally used to select either two or three different circuit conditions. Contact position on a selector switch can easily be illustrated using truth tables. This truth table illustrates the manual or automatic contact positions of two contact selector switch. Each contact on the line diagram is marked A or B. The positions of the selector switch are marked MAN for manual or AUTO for automatic. The truth table can be used to easily interpret what contacts are closed for a particular position. An X is placed in the table if a contact is closed in any position. An O is used to depict that a contact is open. Thus, if the selector switch is in the MAN position, A is X, or closed, and B is zero, or open.
When the switch position is set to auto, A is zero or open, and B is X or closed. In this illustration of a three position selector switch, a third row is added to the truth table. So we now have a manual position, an off position, and an automatic position. Thus, in the man position, A is X or closed, and B is zero or open. At the off position, both A and B are zero or open. With the selector switch set to auto, contact A is zero or open, and B is X or closed. Another type of switch used in electrical mechanics is the limit switch. A limit switch uses contact with an outside force or stationary object to physically open or close the switch. In this schematic diagram, the direction from which a force must contact the switch's actuator is indicated by the triangle below or above the switch. A normally open limit switch will remain open until the actuator is acted upon by an outside force or object, thus holding it closed. A normally closed limit switch will remain closed until an outside force or object holds it open. A good example of limit switch application is a garage door circuit. A garage door circuit includes a limit switch that will remain closed until the actuator comes into contact with the floor. When the garage door motor is activated, it will continue to close the door until the lower edge of the door hits the floor. When opposing pressure is applied to the normally closed limit switch, current to the motor is interrupted, stopping the motor and bringing the door to rest in a down position. In this way, the limit switch defines the limit of movement of an object.